Hello everyone, this is a Bagpipe with some post commentary on a game of Trials of Osiris where I got happened to get a double phantom using the Black Spindle and the Doctrine of Asin. Uh, this gameplay is pre-special ammo nerf, meaning that we all spawned with special ammo. Uh, how much you spawned with varied on what armor you're using, such as the had legs that gave you extra sniper ammo, you'd spawn with more sniper ammo. Um, for anyone that's unaware of what a phantom is, a phantom is getting 7 kills without dying or taking any damage. Um, this is the first time I've ever got two of them in one game. Um, because uh, I used didn't used to play with a sniper. Um, I used to play with a Maida and a sidearm. And I think it may have been a wee bit harder to get phantoms. Because with sidearms I think you're always taking damage. Um, and not. You're always taking damage but you're killing them kind of thing. Um, where sniping is, is from a distance. Well, at least I'm from a distance, you know, bang, they're dead. One shot, which is good fun. Um, I used to use a a last word and a thousand yard stare, but I decided to change up because I don't really like using weapons that everyone else uses. Um, well, at least one of them. I'm a doctor and I think everyone uses, but I, I like it, so I can get with that. But um, a thousand yard stares, aim assist was kind of annoying. Although it obviously aim assist does not bend bullets, uh, no matter what everyone thinks. Uh, 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 like, so when you sweep across it locks onto their head a bit longer. Um, uh, it, was, it was a nine there. I don't know. I prefer the spindle. It's got quite a low aim assist. And it's, it's good fun. Uh, and the spindle's uh, advantages over other snipers are it's got the highest impact in a game for a sniper. Uh, well, not any, well for year two anyway. I'm pretty sure there's a Your couple in year in one that might just beat it. Um, but it also has Mulligan, which I really enjoy. I think that's a great perk. Um, it tends to to proc a lot for me. Um, so when I, I mess a shot up, I get a, a bullet straight back, which is good fun. The other one, however, um, hitting that was it free head shots in quick succession. Um, re refills your mag from your. Um, inventory ammo. Um, I don't think I've ever had that happen. Uh, don't think I have. Um, but yeah, getting a nice body shot. Well, not a nice body shot. A body shot there. Um, a wise man once said, "A good sniper always picks when he needs to hit a body shot." Yeah. So I hit it there. Damn right. Go for it. Uh, so far, I've got six kills and zero deaths. I'm doing pretty well. Um, they, this team, unfortunately, I don't think were the same kind of skill level as us. Um, out of us three, I'd say Ron is probably the best. Um, and then Mean Jam are either a drawn or there's a slight difference between us. Um, that's the first Phantom there. But skill based max make, matchmaking, I don't really think. I don't, I don't really like it, to be honest. Uh, it doesn't affect me as much as other people, but for instance, I've got a friend who's, whose stats are pretty good. Uh, really good, actually. And every game he goes into, it's just tons of sweaty people, and it must be pretty unfair. Not unfair. I suppose unfair and unfun. It's not like it used to be, where you could uh, just jump into a game. You know, some games you get hard people, some games you get easy people. You know, some games it'd be really tight, stuff like that. Um, I think skill-based matchmaking ruined that. So I'm glad they're kind of reversing it um, and changing it. You know, it's still a wee bit of skill-based matchmaking, but it's mainly connection, which is is good. Heavy ammo available. Um, it's me picked off two of them right there. Get my ten kill streak, which is always always good. Always enjoy we ten kill streak in trials. And nice speed drag scope. There we go. And there's a free rounds problem right there. That's one problem with spindle is I only got three rounds in a magazine. Um, a thousand yard stairs four. And I think quite a lot of snipers have higher mag. Which uh which is one downfall of it. Um I do like it, it's an exotic. Because it opens up some more legendary primaries that no one really uses. Although everyone uses Doctrine, I just happen to like it. Because it's got ridiculous stability on it. Especially at range, man. You can drop people that you shouldn't really be dropping at that rate. But I suppose it's the only really good alt rifle. Um, I think that Hacken's Hatchet's not too bad, but Doctrine definitely beats it. Uh, it's, it's ridiculous. I'm pretty sure this week actually on Exodus Blue, it was the 7th one. Uh, it was a drop for it. Yeah, it's playing with my girlfriend, and uh, she got a really good, really good one with stability uh, stuff on it. 
Oh well, yep, there's our second Phantom. Um, Enemy team enjoyed playing this game. I think it was good fun. Down, um, we, we played well and just destroyed them, which was uh, which was good. Fortunately, I think they got a lot of assists. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. I should be up uh, uploading maybe two or three videos a week, and I'll start starting my channel. But uh, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a good time.